recently spent a lot of time in my basement trying to piece together a bunch of low light clips I've taken with the Action 4 over the past couple of weeks. And after struggling with it for way too long, I had to admit to myself, it was utterly boring. Boring! Like driving myself to the edge of insanity boring. Couple that with an attention span of a two-year-old with ADHD, and I was not exactly excited with what I had tried to create. I still wanted to show you the differences in low light footage with different settings and what I think are the best settings for me. So after a brief episode of complete despair, I've decided to try something a little bit different. So here goes nothing. So what did I learn from all these tests? The biggest thing I realized is that this camera can perform well in low light settings, probably due to the bigger sensor, and it's also capable of way better stabilization in low light than any other action camera I've seen. In order to get that stabilization though, you need to keep your minimum shutter speed over 200. 
You'll sacrifice a bit of brightness, but gain a lot of stability, which is a fair trade-off in my opinion. So how do I change the noise reduction, ISO, and shutter speed? Click on this, and the first one we'll go to is this bottom one right here, image adjustment. So there you can see you have noise reduction, and it goes from plus one to minus two. I can actually do it. I've been kind of liking that. And then sharpness is over here. Sharpness goes from plus two down. Go back to custom. Down to minus two. Confirm. So then the other thing I said all the time is under exposure, nah, not D log, exposure. So as you can see over here, you can set the maximum ISO, minimum ISO, right? So you can go one to 3200, you can go all the way one to 200, all the way up to one over 12,800. I've been monkeying around between 12,800 and 6,400. Uh, the other thing I've been doing, so this isn't totally apparent. See where it says S1200 over here? You click on that it gives you a range so you can set your minimum shutter speed and this the minimum varies like because I'm 4k 60 it'll 1 over 60 is the lowest you can go um, it can vary from that all the way up to whatever you want when you're shooting 30 frames a second it'll let you do 1 over 30 so this is where I've been setting it to 1 over 200 or 1 over 400 whenever you like I'm looking at this from the point of view of someone who just wants to whip out his camera and take decent quality videos. I know you can get better low light performance by taking off the waterproof lens and even better quality if you shoot in D-Log, but like I've said before, I'm not making critically acclaimed films here. I don't want to have to come home and go through every clip I've shot and color grade it, and I think the overwhelming majority of people who buy this camera are in the same boat as me but I love the fact that you can do those other things to maximize your experience if that's what you want to do. As far as noise reduction is concerned, I'm likely keeping mine at minus one. It applies just a little bit of noise reduction, but not so much that you get that paint brushed look. For stabilization, you need to keep the shutter speed as much above one over 200 as possible if you're not shooting on a tripod. Frankly, I was really surprised how good the stabilization was when you do that, even in really dark settings. Overall, I'm super impressed with this little camera. What are your thoughts? Let me know below.